generally when people start here, they kind of, they go through a progression, so, so to speak, especially when it comes to their fitness. Um, in particular, when it comes to specific kind of movements and there's kind of like little tick marks that everyone wants to hit at specific times. And usually when people first start out here, especially after being inactive for a long time, kind of the biggest movement that comes to my mind, forefront of my mind, is the air squat. Just because a lot of people are used to squatting one way or maybe they kind of lost the ability to squat or not able to squat as deep as they really should. So that's probably the one thing that at the very beginning that's probably harped on and worked on the most just so they can get them get back that range of motion. Um, but like I said, it works in progression. So once the air squat's done, then it's kind of like to step the game up. And usually the biggest thing I hear, especially when it comes to like our members have been around for like a good couple months, even towards that year mark, is the pull up. Everyone's favorite, everyone's looking for it, especially all the females within our uh, within our community here. The pull up is probably part of kind of like that that next tier. All right, I want to be able to hit that pull up without any rubber bands, without having to jump for it or anything like that. And usually, it takes a lot of it takes a long time to get there because it does require a certain amount of boot strength and kind of like a large amount of upper body strength to build up to get up to that. Um, a lot of people try to like cut corners a little bit, especially when it comes to the kipping pull up. But in reality, they need to get the strict version before they can even move up to the kipping version because. Um, just having that brute strength and having the ability to hang on to the bar goes a long way. If you haven't been doing much, you might be surprised um, to find out that it's really hard to squat all the way down to depth and just those basic things are tough. Um, if you have been working out but maybe not doing CrossFit, you might find out that uh, you have some flexibility issues and you feel strong but you you know you can't get through an overhead squat um, or a kipping pull up just those things require a lot of flexibility um, but that's something that everybody figures out when they come in here for the first time regardless of how long you've been doing it and regardless of how long you're here too so you know once you perfect those air squats and they look really good um, well will they still look good when you put a lot of weight on um, once you knock all of your squat movements out, then it's like um, we've got the gymnastic stuff to work on. We've got um, upside down, getting in a handstand. There's just always stuff to improve. Once we get past the initial pull up, things like the muscle up or even just toes to bar, knees to elbow, things like that to kind of help build their center, build their core a little bit more and to kind of help them develop further. And I think. Once they get past all that, they're done kind of moving themselves around, then the biggest, the elephant, the kind of the elephant in the room, especially this being more of a CrossFit oriented gym, um, is the Olympic weightlifting movements. Moving a barbell around ourselves, moving it in a straight line as we move our bodies around it. And there's no perfect recipe to get anyone to get it, to do it correctly the first time right out of the gate. It's a, it's a thing we spend years building upon. Even now, I've been at this for like six years now, and even then, I'm still tweaking little things here and there on my clean and jerk and even on my snatch, just to make them better. As the weight goes up and gets heavier, technique needs to be more and more pristine as we advance further up in terms of weight, in terms of just overall movement and even cycling the bar. It's a difficult task sometimes because what if the bar is a little too heavy? Maybe it's a little heavier than you're used to. Then we need to go ahead and practice it over and over and over and over. And at the end of the day, if it makes you better, that's what we're looking for. And it just it just takes a very long time, and you just have to have patience when it comes to these things. So it's something to keep in mind while you're going through kind of the motions of being in here, whether you're just starting out or whether you've been here for years. There's always something new to learn and there's always tweaks to be made. We just have to be patient with it. So just don't be as discouraged. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or if you're an absolute elite athlete. Everybody can be fixed, especially with some good coaching. Um, and everybody still has room to improve. I remember I was a, a year and a half, almost two years in the CrossFit and like 135 was like my line for almost everything. Just because I spent the past year, year and a half learning how to move properly first learning proper technique before I advanced the weight then. Once I got that down, now it's like the weight getting frustrating and 135, I couldn't snatch it to save my life. I could barely clean and jerk it. And then I just remember that that was my line. And it was very frustrating. It took that long to kind of get over that hump. But once I did, I was grateful for it because then I advanced really quickly. And then I hit another number that was kind of like the line. And then it, it, it happens in waves. Like, 
there will always be an obstacle in the way. There will always be something more difficult than you're probably able to accomplish. But with time, with patience, you'll get over that hump. Whether it's something as simple as an air squat, maybe you won't be able to hit depth today. But maybe after doing it over and over then and stretching yourself out and you know regaining that range of motion within a couple of weeks, you could be down there. And then you can move it up even further, maybe make it a little bit harder, goblet squats, stuff like that to kind of help you advance further. So no reason to be discouraged by it at all because we all go through it. If you put in the work yourself, you will get there as well. So it's always there.